Okay, so in today's video we're going to look at factorising quadratics, specifically where the coefficient of x squared is bigger than 1. So you'll see that here, the number in front of x squared is 2. But we're going to treat this in a very similar way to what we did in the previous video. So make sure you've got some paper, make sure you've got a pen and you're making some notes. So I'm going to open up an empty double bracket again. But in order to make sure we get a 2x squared, it's not, it can't just be x and x in my brackets. One of them's going to have to have a 2 with it. Okay, in order to make sure that we get 2x squared on that first expansion if we were doing it the other way. But the rest of it is the same process. I'm going to have a look at this number at the end and write down the two factors. And they are 1 and 2, so there's only two factors for 2. And we'll have a look at how we actually go about this now. Now what happens is, if we were to expand this bracket, one of the numbers in the bracket is going to end up getting multiplied by 2. Because we have this 2x at the start of this first bracket. So that means, when I look at this number 1 and this number 2, I've got to think, well, one of them is going to have to double. And if one of them is going to double, in my, and I tend to do this in my head, but I'll write it down, we could either have 1 not doubling, and 2 doubling, which would give us 4. Or we could have 2 doubling, which would give us 2 and two not doubling, which would give us two again. So I've got two options from this pair. I've got one and four, or two and two. And I'm gonna try and make five in the middle. Now I can't make five out of two and two, so I know it's not two and two, but it's gonna be one and four. Okay, one and four can make five. So I've just gotta think, okay, well this is the pairing I'm gonna go for, one and four. Which number do I want to double? That's the two sitting above it. So if I want the two to double, I want the two to go in the other bracket. And I want the one, to go in the first bracket, being careful not to write the 1 and 4 there, but to write the original 1 and 2. Now it's all pluses, it's all positives, so it's just plus and plus in both of these. We're going to have a look at some with some negatives, but that would be that factorised there. But again, just using that logic, write down your factors and think, okay, well which one's going to double or triple or whatever the x, uh, x squared value we've got in this question. Okay, let's have a look at another one. Okay, so we've got a 3x squared in this one, so it's a very similar process. In order to get a 3x squared, we would have an x and a 3x. So if I put those in to start with, 3x and x. Same process with the 10 here. Let's write down what the factors are. We've got 1 and 10, or we could have 2 and 5. Now this time, because there's a 3x in this bracket, that means one of them can, is going to triple or get multiplied by 3. So looking at the first one there, and you might be able to just do some of these in your head, but I could have the 1 tripling to make 3, and that would be 3 and 10. Or I could have the 10 tripling, and that would be 30 and 1. Now I'm not going to make 17 out of 3 and 10. I'm not going to make 17 out of 30 and 1 either. So it's not going to be 1 and 10, so let's have a look at the 2 and the 5. So I could have the 2 tripling to make 6 along with a 5. Or I could have the 5 tripling to make 15 along with the Two. So they're my options there, just tripling one of them. Now I'm not going to make 17 out of 6 and 5, but I can make 17 out of 15 and 2. And it's all positives again, so it doesn't matter which symbols we've got, we know it's going to be positive in both. I've just got to make sure I get that 15 appearing in the other bracket, so that means putting a 5 in the second bracket, and then when you were to, when you were to expand that we'd get 15, and we might expand this one. And the 2, the original 2, goes in the other bracket. And again, if you're not sure, just make sure you go about expanding it. So 3x times x gives you 3x squared. 3x times the 5 gives us 15x. 2 times the x gives us 2x. And then 2 times 5 gives us 10. So it's a nice little check there that you can do at the end. Obviously, you can just tidy these up and you see where that 17x comes from that we wanted. So 3x squared plus 17x plus 10. And again, you know, if, if it doesn't expand correctly or you're not sure on it, you can always go back and have another go. And you can use a bit of trial and error, but just think about it logically with your factors to the side. Let's have a look at one more. Okay, so introducing some negatives. Same process though. We'll stick 2x in one bracket and x in the other as we've got a 2x squared. And again, writing down the factors of 10. So 1 and 10, or 2 and 5. Now again, one of them's going to double. So we could have 2 and 10 or we could have 1 and 20. Are we going to be able to make 9 out of either of those? No. 2 and 10 we could make 8, we could make 12, but we can't make 9. And then 1 and 20 we could make 19 or 21, but we can't make 9. So it's not going to be 1 and 10, which means it's going to have to be the 2 and the 5. Got to be a little bit careful here because we have got negative 9 in the middle, so we are trying to make negative 9, but similar process to when we were factorising before. So let's double one of them, so we could have 4 and 5, or we could have 2 and 10. 
There we go, just doubling one of them. So again, um, we're trying to make negative nine, so it's gonna have to be four and five. We can't make nine out of two and 10, but we can out of four and five. We've just gotta figure out, okay, well, which one of these needs to be negative? And actually looking at it, look, we've got a positive 10 at the end, so they're both gonna have to be negative. So it's gonna have to be negative four, and negative five. So I just want to make sure that that number above the negative four, the two goes in the bracket that's going to be doubled. So on the right hand side there we want negative two, that's going to allow us to get negative four, and on the left bracket there we'll put the negative five, and again you can just expand that to just double check, so 2x times x is 2x squared, 2x times negative two is negative four x, negative five times x is negative five x, and then negative five times negative two gives, gives us the positive 10 at the end there. And tidying that up, look, these two here do make my negative nine. We get two x squared minus nine x plus 10 and it matches what we were looking for. Okay, so time for you to have a go. Here they are. So here's four questions, pause the video there, have a go and we'll go over the answers in a sec. Okay, so factorizing these then. So factors of 12, we can have one and 12, two and six, or three and four. And in my brackets, we're gonna have two x and an x. Now we're trying to make 11, so let's just look through the numbers. I'm just gonna do them in my head. So I can't make 11 if I double anything in one and 12, so it's not those. I could do four and six, which isn't gonna make 11, or I could do two and 12, that's not gonna work either. So it must be the three and the four. So double three is six, and four would make 10, that doesn't work, but double the four, to make eight and add 11, that would work. So doubling the four, so we'll stick the four over here and the three in here, and they're all positive for this one, so that's quite nice. Right, onto the one below. So three x squared, so we're gonna have a three x and an x. And again, so one of my factors is gonna triple here. So one and six, two and three. How do I make 11 if one of them triples? Well, I don't want one and 18, and I don't want three and six, so they're not gonna work, so it's gonna to have to be two and three. So I could have six and three, which would make nine, or I could have two and nine, and I can make that out of 11, so I want my three to be tripled to make nine. So let's stick the three in here, and the two in here. And again, we're trying to make negative 11, and it's a positive six at the end, so they're both negative. So it's three x minus two, and x minus three. Onto this top right. So the only factors of one and one and one, so this is quite a nice one actually. We're gonna have two x and we're gonna have x. And actually, because our only options are one and one, we can actually stick the ones in straight away. We've just gotta get the symbols right here. One of them's gonna double, so it's gonna be two and one. So how do I make negative one in the middle using two and one? Well, I want positive one, take away two. So I want the two to double. So let's have a look, one and two, I want the two to be, I want the one to double to make two. So I want positive one here take away two in the other bracket, that one's gonna to double to make the negative two. And onto the last one, three x squared, so we've got a three x and an x. Factors of 21, we've got one and 21, or three and seven. Okay, there's my factors. And one of them's gonna triple. I'm definitely not gonna make 16 tripling that 21. And I can't, if I triple the one, that makes three. I can make 18 out of that, but I can't make 16. So it's not that one there. So it must be the three and the seven. And let's think, which one do I want to triple? I could have three tripling to make nine and add the seven. Ah, oh, that works. So there we go, we want the three to triple. So we'll stick the three in here and the seven in there. And let's just get the symbols correct. It's all positives, so that's quite nice and easy. All positives. There we go, and there's factorizing some quadratics. Let's have a look at some slightly different ones. Okay, so in this question we've got a six x squared, which means there are different options that we can have in the brackets. I could have, I could have a six x and a one x, that would make six x squared, and I could also have a two x and a three x, and that would also make six x squared. So we've got two options here, um, but let's just have a think. I'm just gonna go for the two x and the three x to start with. So let's just go for the two x and the three x and just see if we can make it work. If not, we'll go back to the other one. But let's go with two x and three x. Okay, so factors are 12. We've got one and 12, two and six, or three and four. Now again, this is a little bit harder because one's gonna double and one's gonna triple. So you might wanna write all the options down or you might just wanna go about it in your head, but one's gonna double and one's gonna triple. So if I, I look at the one and the 12, double one is two, triple 12 is 36. We're going way beyond 17, so that's not gonna work. Let's try it the other way around. Triple the one is three, double the 12 is 24. 24 and three, again, I can't make 17, so it's not that one. Let's go for the two and the six. Double two is four, triple six is 18. So four and 18, that's not gonna make 17. Try it the other way around, triple the two is six, 
double the two is 12, so six and 12, hmm, I can only make 18, I can't make 17, so it's not that one, it's gonna to have to be three and four. So let's have a look, let's just write these ones down. So double the three is six, triple the four is 12, or double, uh, triple the three is nine, double the four is eight, which option there makes 17? It's the nine and the eight. So I want the three to be tripled, so I need to go that put that in the opposite bracket to the three X, so three's there, and I want the four to be doubled, so that's gonna go in this bracket, and again, it's all pluses. So all positive symbols there, two X plus three and three X plus four. You just gotta take your time with these, really think about those factors, write down as much as you need to to make, to make that work. Again, the better you are with numbers, the more easy you'll find this doing it in your head, but otherwise do write down everything there to the side. Let's have a look at one more. Okay, so we've got a 9x squared in this one. Uh, 9x squared is not too nice here, but I'm going to I'm going to go for 3x and 3x again. We could have 9x and 1x, but let's just try this one out. 3x and 3x, which means both of my factors this time are going to triple. So what factors have we got? We've got 1 and 20. Very unlikely to be that one because I don't think we're going to make negative 3 if we're getting 60 in there in one of the factors. So straight away, I know it's not that one. We could have 2 and 10. Unlikely that we're going to be using 30, but let's have a look. And we could have four and five. Now, because there's a negative three in the middle, I'm, I'm going to think it's probably not the two and the ten because that's quite, you know, it's very close to zero. So I'm going to imagine the numbers are quite close together. But two and ten, let's have, just have a quick think. That'd be six and thirty. No, we're not going to make negative three. So it's got to be the four and the five. So let's just have a quick think. If we triple them, at least they're both being tripled. So it's twelve and fifteen. It's my only option. And how am I going to make negative three out of that? I want positive twelve and I want negative 15. Okay, so I want the five to triple as a negative because I want negative 15. So I want to put negative five in the, in the well, because they're both three either one, so negative five. And I want positive four in the other one. That's going to allow me there to get that. And you can always, again, just check to, to and expand it. So three X times three X is nine X squared. Three X times negative five is negative 15 X. Four times three X is 12 X so plus 12x, and then four times negative five is negative 20. And again, you can just simplify these and you get nine x squared minus three x minus 20. There we go. And that is expanding, or uh, factorizing, sorry, a uh, quadratic where the coefficient's bigger than one. And we have like different options here with the, the numbers that could go into the brackets. So two for you to have a go at, here they are. Okay, so here's your two questions. Pause the video there, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. Okay, so looking at these two. So we'll go for 2x and 3x for this first one, because we've got a 6x squared there. And let's just write down the factors of 10. So we've got 1 and 10, or 2 and 5. Now, 1's going to double, 1's going to triple. So if we think about this, if we double the 1, we'll get 2. Triple the 10's 30. We're not, that's not going to work. Triple the 1 would be 3. Double the 10 is 20. So we can make 17 or 23, but not 19. So that's not going to work. So it must be the 2 and the 5. So if we double 1, we'd get 4. Triple the other is 15. Or triple the 1 is 6, and double the other is 10. So to make 19, we're going to need that 4 and 15 there. And they're both positive. We want the 2 to double and the five to triple. So if we want the two to double, we stick it in the opposite bracket to the two, and we want the three to triple, sorry, the five to triple, so stick that in the opposite bracket to the three, so plus five. So there's that one factorized. Onto the other one, we've got nine x squared. Let's go for three x and three x again. Again, it could be nine x and one x, but let's have a look, three x and three x. Factors are 15, you got one and 15, or three and five. Let's just have a think about this logically then. So. They're both going to triple, so we could have 3 and 15, that's not going to make 6, or we could have, uh, sorry, it would be 3 and 45, there's no way we're going to make 6 out of that, or we could have tripling these 3s and 5s here, we'd get 9 and 15, and we can make negative 6 out of 9 and 15. Just got to think logically how we're actually going to make that, we want positive 9 and negative 15, that's going to allow us to get negative 6. So if we want positive 9, we need a positive 3 in a bracket. And if we want negative 15, we're going to need a negative 5 in the other bracket. There we go, so that is factorising these harder quadratics. You've just got to think about writing down the factors, think logically about how you're going to do it, and just trial and error some of them if you're not sure. And always think, you can always expand it just to double check that it has actually worked. But that's the end of the video. If you like that, if it was useful, please like, please comment, please subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one. Oh, 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 oh,